So everybody, this is Porter right here. This is my real dog. Y'all see him in streams all the time. He is very obsessed with me. He loves me with all of his up. You know what I'm saying? For those who actually want to see him, he be over with us on Twitch, just in case you guys didn't know. For those who be over here being hermits and afraid to watch live streams. I know, he's stressed out. I'm going to go ahead and put him down, okay? You already know what we about to get into today. You already know, welcome to another Tech That Tuesday. Oh my God, bro, it's been a minute, bro. It's definitely been a minute. From those who are new and those who are from TikTok, this is one day of the week where I unbox and review something that is tech related for the channel to enjoy. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to the playlist of all of the other devices in the description below. But today will be the first console of the channel, okay? Now you guys already know your boy loves the Nintendo Switch. You know what I'm saying? We're not dealing with that. Today, we're gonna be dealing with the Valve Steam Deck. Let's get to it, guys. First impressions, I I love this thing. Like, and, and I'm not saying that because nothing. This ain't sponsored. They didn't give this to me for free. I had to bait it, buy this with my hard earned money over a year ago. Cause it took them over a year. Valve, Valve, let me talk to you real quick. Um, what the f was up with y'all in the packaging? The setup was terrible. Like to unbox it, I've got a better satisfaction than unboxing socks. It, it was so dry of an unboxing experience. I'm not gonna lie to you. I can't speak for everybody else. I don't care what everybody else says. I'm not one of those people to kiss the internet's ass. The worst experience of unboxing any console in my entire life. I'm gonna get too much deeper into that, but just know that when you receive your Steam Deck in the mail, it doesn't have any protective box over the box of the Steam Deck. Meaning if anybody looked on your porch, they would see that that's definitely a Steam Deck. I do love the high quality case that they send with it though. I will say that the carrying case that it does come with is very fire. It is very nice. It's definitely high quality. I'm not gonna knock this. It's gonna take me some time to move past the boxing situation, but the Steam Deck comes with a USB-C charger and it also comes with with a book of directions that you know you and I both are never gonna pick Moving up. Moving past that, we have the star of the show, the Steam Deck itself. This model being the 256 gigabit model, it has the glossy screen. I love the functionality, how soft everything feels. The buttons are fluid. I don't know what other tech reviewers were talking about personally, but the design is flawless. I had to look on other YouTube videos just to make sure that I didn't get like a defective one or something and didn't realize like a refurbish or some shit. Cause that, the unboxing experience was the worst unboxing experience I've ever ex I've ever experienced in my fucking life. Guys. I'm pretty sure we get it by now. You can shut up. To boot up the Steam Decks, you simply just plug in the USB-C charger as the instructions state. Good thing I actually read that part. The device boots up like an iPhone. The system is ran with Linux. For those who do not know what Linux is, it is the Windows for nerds like me. Your mother, for those who agree. It'll ask you to set up your Wi-Fi, your region, and log into your Steam account. Before you know it, you're sitting face first with your game. But this thing is something that I can use. Like, I can sit here and do this all day as y'all can see the difference is in night and day it's not really too much for me to even have to explain granted to be fair the only reason why i don't trip when it comes to the nintendo switch is because i use my nintendo switch 99 percent of the time on dock mode i play smash and use a gamecube controller that should give y'all a hit off for it. Having the ability to be able to customize my layout so that I could play with keyboard, I could play with the controls here on any game that's in the Steam library just about, that's insane to me, bro. That is insane to me. There are some games that already come preset that are already labeled as ready, Steam Deck ready. And there are some games that just haven't been tested where it's the we can start the game up anyway and customize the layout on our joysticks and buttons and would not for us to be able to control it the way that we want to control it. I have not been able to test out the battery life fully. It literally just came in today. So with this being said, would I recommend the Steam Deck for anybody? No. no. Steam Deck is not going to be for that person who is like me and is sitting at home 95% of the week doing stuff on your PC anyway. This is more for the person who likes to travel and likes to play games on the go. Is it a Switch killer? No, it is definitely not a Switch killer, even though you can play Nintendo Switch games 
on these. There's a process to go around it. It's not illegal, even though Nintendo has been attacking channels for them telling people that they can do it. It doesn't make any sense. Like, why are you doing that? Like, we didn't do anything wrong. We're not breaking any rules. It's just literally a part of the system. We can do that. It, it happens, you know? Even if you were to emulate and play Nintendo Switch games on here, you cannot play those and go, do online with your friends. So if you're a Smash player, you're not gonna be able to play Smash Bros online with your friends. You can only do it in public land, um, you know what I'm saying? Direct connection with each other. What am I gonna rate the Steam Deck? I am going to rate the Steam Deck a solid 4.5 out of five. And the only reason why that 0.5 is because of the battery life. But other than that, I can't recommend it enough. I've been on it all day, nonstop. I literally didn't even stream today. If you guys are new to the channel, yo, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, bro. We're heading towards 20,000 subscribers. I never thought in a million years that this channel would be like pushing like this. Fun fact, this channel was actually supposed to be a test to teach people how to become YouTubers, which that program is still coming up. But this that's all this was for, and then it became my number one, my favorite channel. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't tell my petty gang people. Don't 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 tell them. That. We got a reaction channel over here. We got it, my main channel right here. I appreciate y'all for being here on this one at all. Much love, and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. You are? Right? Yes, sir. Hello.